Einstein. Hey, Einstein, where's the dot, boy? Huh? Yeah. Welcome to my latest experiment. This is the big one, the one I've been waiting for all my life. Ah, uh, well, it's a DeLorean, right? Bear with what me, Marty. All your questions will be answered. Roll yeah. tape. Okay. And I'll we'll proceed. Ah, uh, Doc. Uh, is that a Devo? Never mind that now. Never mind that right. now. Right now. Right now. All right, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26, 1985, 1.18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, honey. Hey, boy. Get in there. Yeah, no, boy. In here you go. Sit down. Put your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, check done. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch ahead. Get that thing hooked up to the car. Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. That got me! The car! The car! My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Structure both Einstein and the car are completely intact. Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, to be exact. And precisely, 1.21 a.m. in zero seconds, we shall catch up with him at the time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? 